Oh, sorry. Jalen, um, let's just start with the 10,000-point uh, the milestone. Um, we know that you're focused on winning and all of that stuff, but an individual like that, an individual milestone like that must mean uh, a lot for you. Nah, yeah, nah, it definitely does. And, uh, don't want to skip over that. Like, you know, just it's been a great journey, um, even though the journey is still going. Um, just take the moments out to just appreciate all the work, all the hard work, the effort is going into even getting to this point. It's been ups, it's been downs. Things haven't gone my way. Things have, and you know, here we are. So, nah, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful, and I'm looking forward to the future. Yeah, can you speak a little bit more about that? That um, the journey to to this point. Obviously, there's a lot more moving forward, but. How important is it for you to take a take a second when these opportunities present themselves to be like, you know what, I've done this, I've accomplished this, to just kind of like appreciate what you've accomplished? Yeah, I mean, um, to be honest, it, it speaks for itself. Just coming from my background, single parent household, you know, um, just my family, uh, being able to have an opportunity to just to just change things. It's just when you look back on everything, you know, it's just. All I can say is I'm incredibly grateful, you know, to be in this in this in this position, and it's been a lot of hard work and effort, um, but I'm extremely blessed at the same time. So I don't take that for granted, and I'm looking forward to just continue to grow, continue to improve, and and uh, maximize my potential. Jalen, another night where uh, Joe closes with the second unit, the Stay Ready crew. When it's clear your night is over, you, it looks like your night's over. What are your responsibilities, if any, sitting on the bench? Um, just to cheer those guys on, support them. Um, just the same way they support um, me and, uh, and us when we're out there, the first group. So just supporting them, you know, giving them energy. You know, uh, that's it, really just being, uh, being an ear for them, telling them, yelling out the coverages or, or whatever else is going on, just being, you know, being a good teammate. Jalen, sort of building on that, um, Joe talks a lot about holding those guys to the same standards that you're held to. What is it like being able to watch them go out there and have this opportunity to show off everything they've worked on all year behind the scenes as they've been, quote unquote, like staying ready like Joe says? It just shows, you know, that we're well coached, that we're well organized, and then we got um, a lot of talent, but we all, we flow with a continuity about ourselves. You know, we get organized, we get the guys' shots where they are in their uh, strengths and their in their strong suits, and we kind of play to that. And I think that, you know, is a testament to how much our guys work, but also our coaching staff to make sure we organize and making sure we're playing in our strengths and making sure we're getting good shots every time down. So um, it's a combination of all of that. Today was the 62nd win. That's tied for the sixth most in franchise history in the regular season. This being your eighth season here, what does that accomplishment mean to you? It's great. You know, any time that you can win at a high level, you don't take that for granted. I don't think this is the, these are the most regular season wins I've ever had in my career. Um, so that's awesome, man. And that's just, you know, it's just been great from top to bottom. You know, looking forward to carrying it over to the playoffs. But you still don't want to skip over, you know, how much work it takes to win 62 games and still and counting in a season. You know, same thing, kind of scoring 10,000 points. It's just a lot of hard work and effort over the years and accumulated. And you just want to take some of these moments to appreciate it. And then you get back to work. Jalen, speaking of the milestone again, if I may, once more, it's not often that a player gets a moment where the fans can give something back to him like that. What was that moment like for you? It was great, you know, especially all of the supporters who've been, you know, um, supporting me from day one. You know, um, obviously um, things have been, you know, up and down throughout the early ages, early stages of my career, and I've been able to get different opportunities been able to improve, but also been able to um, to gain more responsibility. But, you know, the, for the day one, the JB fans who, you know, stayed in my corner since day one, uh, you know, I feel that love and uh, I like to just show that love right back. You know, it's a lot of people here who in Boston who have uh, supported my career, my journey, and I'm grateful for that. And uh, that encourages me to just get, keep getting better. That encourages me to keep improving, proving the naysayers or the critics wrong and, and just keep leveling up the other day you you talked about how Chris Topps's defense is going to be very important for you guys especially in the playoffs have you kind of challenged him about what you need from him in the postseason and what what have what has the communication been like from you to him on that 
I mean, that's 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 going to be the game. You know, defense is, uh, you know, obviously offense is going to be able to, you know, carry you in moments. But, you know, being able to get stops and guarding teams and locking teams down is going to keep you in games when you're not shooting the ball well. Um, so not taking plays off, you know, just being solid. Sometimes you don't even have to, you know, uh, gamble or be out of position. Just be solid. And I think that'll carry as far. So, you know, that's that's what we're all hanging our hat on. That's what I've been emphasizing um, from day one since the start of the season, defense, defense, defense. And I think, you know, we've been a really good defensive team this year. And I think we have an opportunity to take it up a notch in the playoffs. And then with you guys have clinched already the best record in the league, it could be pretty easy to kind of relax over the rest of the regular season. How do you kind of avoid that and stay locked in for what's to come? Um, it's a it's a battle of the mind, you know. Like you uh, like you said, we already clinched in the sense we we done our job in the regular season, um, but now you know you prepare your mind for the moments where it's gonna matter most. You don't want to relax, you don't want to get complacent, you know. So even sometimes, even like when you go out there, you gotta pretend like it's a playoff game, um, and it's not, you know. And it just it's just a battle of how strong is your mind, your focus, um, and that's what you know we're challenging ourselves with now. Uh, to see the second group um, go out there and be able to do it with their, what, what they're doing and, and grow in those moments. And the first group continue to try to stay locked into every possession. That's just going to help us down the line as a team. Last question, Yeah, along those same lines, how do you plan to balance health and rest versus getting out there and making sure that you are kind of peaking at the right time? Uh, I think we just leave it up to the, the medical and the staff to kind of give us some direction, you know. Um, obviously, we don't want to go into the playoffs with any injuries. We want to be as healthy as possible. But even if so, you know, we got to be ready to to, to, to balance that, you know. Um, even if guys do get, you know, um, get hurt or, or bumped up a little bit, you got to still be able to find ways to, to win and play through it, you know, and stuff like that. So um, these are things that, you know, we expect. These are things that you got to prepare for because you know how physical the playoffs can get. And hopefully, you know, we'll be able to persevere. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.